In this problem, we have negative 2 and 1 half inside parentheses, and on the outside of the parentheses, we have a negative sign. And we are adding that to 4 and 1 fifth. Now remember, when you have consecutive negatives, you have to treat that as a positive. So we can rewrite this problem as 2 and 1 half being added to 4 and 1 fifth. Now, just by using some estimation, if we were to add the whole numbers 2 and 4, that would give us 6. And then if we were to add the fractions together, that would give us 6 and some fraction. So we know our answer is going to be somewhere in between 6 and 7. So what we have to do now is rewrite the fractions so we have a common denominator. And the denominators that we have right now are 2 and 5. And that would give us a least common denominator of 10. So let's change this 2 into a 10 and this 5 into a 10 as well. Now it would take 5 of these to make 10. So we have to multiply the numerator by 5, which would also give us 5. And we had to double the 5 to make a 10. So we have to double the 1 and that would make a 2. Now we can just add the whole numbers together, 2 and 4 is 6 and the denominator stays the same and we can add the numerators of 5 and 2 and that gives us 7. So the answer in this case is 6 and 7 tenths. Now another way that we could have done this problem is by rewriting each one of these mixed numbers as an improper fraction. We could have taken 2 and 1 half and have rewritten that as 5 halves and then we could have taken 4 and 1 fifth and rewritten that as 21 fifths. But we still have to find a common denominator. So let's change the denominators into the number 10 because that's the lowest common denominator. And this got bigger by a factor of 5, so we multiply the top by a factor of 5, which would give us 25. And this 5 became twice as large, so we have to double the 21, which would give us 42. 25 tenths and 42 tenths would give us a total of 67 tenths. Now we can take this improper fraction and change it back into a mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. And 10 can be divided into 67, a total of six whole times, which gives us 60. And that leaves us with seven tenths remaining. Sometimes it's easier not to take the numbers and rename them as improper fractions. And usually that's the case if the two fractional parts of the mixed numbers have a sum that's less than one whole. But if the two fractions have a sum that's greater than one whole, usually it's a better idea to rename your mixed numbers as improper fractions and then add. But I showed both methods just so you can see there's two different ways to solve this problem. 